previously on Night's Quest. Eloise gets the kill. It sounds like our best way to talk to Hainus is by talking to your dad, Rourke. Might I ask, you hurry up a little bit. Quiz, put Venus in a bag. All right, breaking news. We're here in the studio. Our correspondent is on the scene with live updates. Jake, can you tell us what you can see out there? What's going on? Everyone's dying to know. Uh, well, um, it's kind of dark outside, and I don't really have... They didn't give me a flashlight. Uh, so <laughs> what I can see, I see shapes, uh, shadows. Uh, I think they're people that, uh, that... Yes, it's definitely people. Uh, they're kind of running. They're not running. They're walking. Um, that it's, I'm, I'm looking, it's Main Street and they're walking, uh, they're moving, they're going into stores and businesses. Um, all right. Thank you for that update, Jake. Uh, we are back in the studio coming to you live with breaking new. We don't, we don't know what it is, but it's breaking. We better, we better turn the camp to our other, our other correspondent. I don't, um, um, Nathan, 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 our other correspondent. What do you, um, what's, what's the, what's the news? Hi, thanks, Jamie. Um, yeah, so it seems here that, from the looks of it, there's mass hysteria, absolute pandemonium, things are flying around, people are screaming, they are crying, but not out of fear. It seems to me that it is pure joy because of the new Night's Quest episode that has just been announced. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for us tonight, folks. Tune in tomorrow in the studio. At, at 9 um, for, for for the news again. It's the same news. Same news, uh, different time, same channel, same time, actually. Um, <laughs> I've just been informed. It's, it's the same time. <laughs> I've just been told. <laughs> this is the news show. I'd watch that. I I want everybody to know, like the entire time that Nathan reporter Nathan was doing his thing, uh, yeah. civilian Jake was behind him, like doing bunny ears and like doing <laughs> like Chad shit in the background. Yeah, it's the same camera. Like I'm not even on a different spot. Like we just swapped out who was there. <laughs> I, I am now the camera operator. <laughs> <laughs> the budget is that low. Yeah. No, all we did was turn the camera around. Yes. So like it looks like a different location. This is yeah. slowly starting to feel like an Eric Andre sketch or <laughs> right. a bit of intergalactic or interdimensional cable. Right. Or I feel, quest. Yeah, I feel like this is the kind of this is the kind of show where they realized that the uh the cover was on the camera the whole time. Yeah. No. It's very dark. <laughs> it's very dark. I'm seeing shapes. It's a circle. It's the cover. It's the cover of the camera. Oh, <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I've just been informed to take to remove the cover from the camera. Um, oh, and look at that. That helps quite a lot, actually. <laughs> wow, you can see so much more. This Step is so one. cool. What it's actually going? daytime. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts my eyes. Welcome, everyone, to Night's Quest. Yeah, welcome back to Night's Quest. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I didn't know the camera was pointed at the sun. <laughs> ow, ow, oh, ow. No. Back to you in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> it is dark again. <laughs> I am blind. What a roller coaster okay. that was. <laughs> Ooh, okay. boy. Hi, everyone. Wow. It's Ugh. good to be back. So one thing we've been trying to get better at doing is is taking notes between episodes so we can actually, like, remember stuff. It's and true. I, I'm only mentioning this because the note that I left for us to read. A month ago. Yeah. Yeah, it was about a month ago. Listen. We, we have Time, flies. Time flies. Time um, flies. Time flies when you're listening to this on a weekly basis. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty great. Uh, bi-weekly. Anyway, the note was that we ended with Quis putting Banus into Christopher. And, I mean, that <laughs> sentence is just like... God, we really... 
We really need the context that Christopher is a bag and not in any way a character. We really need to make that clear. I'd say Christopher's earned character oh, status. <laughs> for me, but, you know, here's from me, though. The fact that two of those aren't real words, Quiss and Banus. Like, that's not like, <laughs> like a thing that I shouldn't know that those are proper nouns. Yeah. Right, like, right. That shouldn't be, but it is. It's like hearing people speak Klingon in public. Have you Have you done that? Heard people speak Klingon in public? Yeah, it's like a college course for a language some places. Not where we went. Well, yeah, <laughs> I have, I have heard of this, yeah. I wish I had heard people speak Klingon in public. So anyway, that's where we're going to pick up yeah. is, um, with, <laughs> with that moment. Uh, <laughs> okay, the, the, the thing is, if... Yeah, if we if we make Christopher if we say Christopher is an honorary character, then it becomes morally a lot more dubious that we're putting Banus in him, and I don't know how to feel about that. We I don't think Christopher sold a man that. to another man. You are for never going to let me go. <laughs> I don't think we need to be worried about the character <laughs> status of a bag. I feel like this might make me a horrible, horrible person, but I have several different times forgotten that we sold a man into captivity. <laughs> we don't know the what he's doing right now. lowest denomination of currency. Mm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Hey, you did get a corruption point for that. So. Good times. Oh, yeah. Corruption point. Corrupted part. Yeah, yeah corrupted part. Good All right. Times. Anyway, Banus is in a bag. Sure is. And the other Bani, um have fled. The rest of the party is here. We're still in the Orwell jungle. It's a great day, and I'm just to get it out of the way. Banus is cool with it. <laughs> Chill. Yeah, Quiz is like staring into the open bag, and he's like, "There's some, there's some snacks in there, you know, if you get hungry." Oh, sweet, thanks. Oh, is this a spear? Oh, cool. Oh yeah, don't, that's careful with that. It's sharp. Ouch. Rainer says, "Um, oh, okay." Quiz, uh, what did you do? Uh, Grog, Grog, and Grilta are just like. Frozen. Is this gonna have like like ramifications? I don't know about and this. See, the last time, the last time we messed with Banus, uh-huh. an entire like city shut down. Like their power source got got shut down. So I'm sure it's fine. But wasn't that not Banus's fault? Wasn't that Duchas? Well, Banus put the rock on the root, and Duchas was like encouraging him to do it. So oh. maybe if we catch your Duhas too, what if we catch them all? Oh, I am just now realizing that everything that happened to the beacon was kind of my fault. Whoa. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Yes, it was. Yes. Oh, wow. That's, That's news Yeah, to me. man. Taking responsibility for your actions is a weird <laughs> thing. <laughs> it's a hell of a drug. Banus, like, pokes his head out a little bit and he's like, oh... Did you, did you guys say my name? Quiz just really quickly like folds the flap of the bag over his head. It's nighttime. <laughs> Go to sleep. <laughs> uh, roll persuasion. <laughs> like, like a bird in a cage. <laughs> yeah. No, roll persuasion. <laughs> Difficulty one because it's Banus. And advantage because you made it dark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's just a straight success. And he goes, oh, already? Okay. Right, good night, everyone. And um, you hear... You hear snore like cartoon snoring, like me, 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 me. beautiful, <laughs> with a little bit of yes, 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 yes. Um, Grilta, I is it? Should we be worried? Um, I don't know. Look, I know a lot of things, especially about trees. This is new for me. Gork, do you remember like any stories of like? Banus in a bag? No, I, <laughs> that never happened. Uh, there was the one story where he got put in a cave, and he got so mad, he broke the cave, and the whole mountain collapsed. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember that one now. And then, and then, Hades had to come and, and stop the avalanche from killing the whole the, the villagers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but that won't happen because he's in a bag, though, right? Yeah, he can come out whenever he wants. I guess. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> we did also. Give him food, which he likes. That's true. And a weapon, which he likes. That's true. And a book, which he hates. Oh, yeah. Doesn't like books. They make him mad. He doesn't get them. Okay. Oh, well, oh, well, hold on. And he, like, opens the flap and goes, ah, solar eclipse. And then he takes he takes the, the mirror <laughs> book. He takes the mirror book out of the bag. <laughs> closes the flap again. <laughs> and he holds it out to the group. <laughs> and he says, can anyone else, 
care of this for like a minute or like however long he's <laughs> no, in wait. there for? No, hold on. Time out. <laughs> Did you just say solar eclipse to mean random burst of sunlight during the night? The sun is covering the moon. <laughs> 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 Thanks for coming, everybody. That's Night's Quest. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I guess I'll hold on to the book then, I guess. <laughs> cool, thanks. Oh boy. Actually, um, can I, uh, can I hold the book? I was going to, uh, use it today, if that's alright. Oh, 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 and Chris, like, grabs it and, like, brings it over to him. Thank you. I, I mean, I'll wait till we get going, but, uh, I was, I was wanting, I'm going to check in on how my hometown is doing, so I just... Okay, well, just, just let me know. Oh, just yeah. let me know when you're gonna open it. Just let me know. Why, do you have to, do you have to be there? I, I would like to be. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Yeah, it is kind of a fun experience. It's it's nerve wracking, but it's it's intriguing. Yeah, it's very hit or miss. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Do they head out? <laughs> yeah. 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 Raiders, Raiders, like, see, I was gonna say we should we should let him go, but now now you've said that he likes food and sleeping. So is it possible he's just gonna want to stay there? I mean, we do gotta be careful. Those are our rations. So we don't want him to eat, like, all of them. Plus, right, we got some fresh right. trujas in there. Don't want to waste that. That's good stuff. But on the other hand, you guys are trying to fight a spirit. Wouldn't hurt to have one in your back pocket, literally. <laughs> so, pros and cons. Rainer, hey, Rainer, Rainer, listen. When you're fighting, <laughs> when you're fighting Mirjik, trouble is, like struggling to keep a straight face when you're fighting Mirchik, you need to reach into the magic bag and pull out this pig god and just see what the fuck happens <laughs> hey speaking of bags with Mirchik, do we still have the mystic pouch like is that a thing we still own oh yeah yeah absolutely we should not get these bags mixed up cause one of them has right. a lot of things in it and right. one of them has negative things Quist stops dead and he turns around and goes what if we put the mystic pouch inside Christopher? I think I don't... we should figure that out another time. We're losing daylight. Who knows? An eclipse could happen any moment. <laughs> <laughs> so then the party gets walking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The party gets yeah, John, walking. Then they all kind of stand there for a second. Jonathan goes, mm. well, and then just starts walking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay, uh, it's a normal day's worth of travel. Yeah. We'll do that, and yeah, again, walking through the jungle. Uh, let's just start with the Beal, since we already know what he's going to be doing. Sure. Uh, he's already talked about that. Bust out my... my D20. So, um, as I said, a is going to open the Mirjik book, um, and he wants information about how the village of A is doing. Yes. Because he, he's been gone for a long time. Yeah. Uh, and Things have changed. He, he doesn't... What's to, a lot of things have changed. <laughs> oh, oh he go. doesn't know. Well, he, he, <laughs> he doesn't know. Well, that's not quite true because we we talked about it when Mirjik was talking to us, so he probably knows a little bit. Is that right? He, they didn't mention it much. No, oh, okay. Okay, so very cryptic. Yeah. I rolled a three. Oh no! Oh uh. oh! Which I have written down as healer's notes. What? So like the notes from like a healer or a doctor. Oh, this could be good. So he opens up the book. He's like, okay, this will be. I'm really excited. It's been so long since I've uh, since I've heard word from home. I'm pretty uh, sure and one five is like really fucking bad, right? That's, yeah. <laughs> um, and so it's it's obviously written in Terevian, but um, I mean he can read it anyway because he reads yeah. Terevian. That's the point. <laughs> um, and the note says, it is day three since the second moon arrived. The chickens have continued to fly. <laughs> I have been unable to diagnose why our eyes have changed colors. It is peculiar. Oh my god. Did something happen to the hands and feet too? Yes, something happened to everyone's hands, and it's driving me crazy that I can't remember what. And the other maladies that have inflicted the hands... Good, good cover, is, good save, bro. It has only impacted those who are residents here. Newcomers, they are normal. But when we leave, the effects are permanent. 
Every night I hear the chickens clucking high above us. Every now and then one of the chickens perishes due to lack of nourishment on the moon, falling to the ground. I have had to heal many who have been injured from chicken concussions. And no one has seen Salim since. Chicken concussions, if you will. Since he was taken away by the clouds. Oh my god. He seemed so sad a few days ago, but then so happy. When the cloud arrived, I I don't know what's going on. We were all so worried. We have believed the worst of Fayyad, for his shouting from the moon has also gone quiet. (gasps) No! (laughs) But reports say they saw him eating one of the chickens. (laughs) So maybe it's not as bad as we thought, and he might hold out. We are currently trying to get a rescue mission, but all the things we send up get stuck in the moon's orbit. (laughs) Thankfully, the Keeper is safe. Most of the residents are safe, but there will be a lot of therapy needed after this. End of notes. (laughs) And, um, a Beal is like, okay, I'm going to need to, um, stick a little, uh, little break from that. (laughs) And, uh... You guys have fun with the shenanigans. I will be processing this in the back. And he like walks to the back of whatever the marching order is. And just a couple minutes later, you hear, Why? (laughs) What does that even mean? (laughs) Why did they talk about Salim? Everyone hates that guy. They don't ever talk about me. No mention of me. They don't even miss me. Oh my god! And I, it goes on. For I need Salim to interact with Abiel at some point. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, is Abiel like straight shunned, like Amish style though? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. 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 yeah he, like there's a reason he's not being talked about. Like he has been right cut off. Yeah. All right. Who wants to do their thing next? I could do troubles next. Go for it. Excellent. So trouble is going to talk to Grog. Oh sweet. Yeah. He just says, "Uh, hey, hey, Grog. Um." Yo, what's up, Trouble? Yeah, uh, so, during the big performance... Yes. You guys, they they called you something besides Grog. Do you have, like, a new name? Yeah, so, uh, my my actual, like, name is Friendmaker. Y'all call me Grog. We've got that intimate level, but... Oh. Actually, I was gonna... If you could spread the word, when we get to Garka, if y'all could call me Friendmaker, that would really help. Oh. Like, let everyone know... That that's my name now. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, that's my name. I'm Friendmaker. Wow. Yep. He he looks not not puzzled, but like he is thinking this over very carefully, and he's like, "So did you decide that based on like what you've done with your life? Is that kinda?" Um, it wasn't me. Uh, Eloise actually, she she picked it out for me. Okay. Cool. Cool. I don't have a last name. Lots of, uh, people seem to have those, um, and I'm kind of just, I'm, I'm kind of just trouble. Well, well, last, last names have all kinds of reasons. I know, like, uh, Rainer, his last name just is, like, who he's the son of. Right, right. Uh, Jonathan, his last name, like, ties into, like, a whole lineage thing, so, like, Uh people know that. Me, I don't really have last names, it's more just, like, titles that we get. Uh, like, you can say son of... Hannah Slayer, but, like, that's not super helpful. Sure. So I guess, really, like, a last name is more to, like, help you, like, attach yourself to, like, a bigger picture. Like, where you come from. So, like, okay. uh, the Magistrate, he was Magistrate Feyrog of Varden. So that's where he came from. Rest in peace. Yeah. So, like, I could just pick one? I mean, I, I guess. Like... There's no rule about... I don't know what... Like, there's rules for us, but, like, yeah. I, don't know, I don't think there's rules for... Humans that used to be fumbles. Yeah. So hmm. uh, Jonathan pipes up and says, eh, "It's the first rule of life, man. There's no rules. There's no well, that's, rules. That's not true at all. There are. There's lots of rules. That does. That does pretty heavily go against my my formal <laughs> education. <laughs> hmm. There's lots of rules, Jonathan. We've talked about this. Yeah. I'll, Jonathan I'll tell just you, shrugs. I'll tell you what I was thinking, right? Because. Cause we just got that guy, and he points to um he points to Christopher the bag where yeah. he points where where Banus is currently. We just got that guy, and um, you know, Truhas told us that they're all technically spirits, right? So yeah, I was yeah. thinking like, like, spirit biter, cause like that's okay. my thing. Sure, that's the thing that I'm like super proud of. I was I was embarrassed about it at first, but then like. 
we kind of hung out more and then we met this guy again and he's i mean he's just so now i'm proud of it um (laughs) i mean yeah if you uh, that's kind of more of like a an orc style of naming yourself but like hey i'll it works for me so yeah cool trouble spirit biter trouble spirit but yeah see see i i feel like i like that yeah then let's go with it yeah does that mean i'm like is that's that's not gonna like lock me into doing it more if i don't want to right <laughs> names don't um, work that way i don't uh, think sometimes they do they do I mean, in orc culture like your name is your past but also your future like it's who you are oh so. okay because I, I mean i can do it more i wouldn't recommend it unless it's needed right Right. All right. I'm glad that did that help, bud. Yeah, I think so. Okay. All right. He like gives you a pat on the shoulder. And he's like, Yeah. All right. Um. Now, if you wouldn't mind, I've kind of got. I've got. A, I'm working through something. I'm, I'm. Oh. Hashing out some words today. So. Oh, okay. We'll, t- we'll touch base later. Sure. Good. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> Actually, he really. He's like. He like. He puts his hand back on his shoulder. He's like, Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Yeah. Sure. Sure. By all means. All right. See ya. <laughs> and I, I guess okay. he walks further away in the group. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Who's next? Uh, Eloise is going to uh, uh, inspect her weapon. Just like checking all the links in the chain, uh, making sure everything's like well and good attached. Uh, mm. Just doing some general maintenance, making sure that everything's good. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. And generally getting distracted by pulling the chain links like through her fingers. and Yes. I'm trying to think what we got on this. You know what? Ratiocination. Nice. Okay. Mm-hmm. Difficulty two. So it's a failure with advantage. Okay. Hmm. Um. So the failure is that she's not able to do a proper search on it, right? But the advantage could be... Oh, um, she gets uh, new ideas about more uh, close range uh, ways to use it. Like, just kind of like wrapping the chain around her hand with the, the hammer... Just like right there and using mm. it more like oh, a flail cool. or like a mace, like right, yeah, right up yeah, close. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not going to give you a move for that because it's just one advantage, right. but she she now has that. Just thinking. Just in like, yeah. 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 Just something she could do. Something she could do. Love it. I'm going to do Leroy next. He asks uh, when when the Saki Taki call comes in, he wants to have a conversation with his parents. <laughs> Naturally. Okay. And I want to like actually do the scene. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, this only in response I can imagine to the Facebook. Listen, no, I was going to do it before the threats on my life. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't threaten your life, they just said they were going to fight you in a parking lot. <laughs> yeah, they didn't threaten your life in part. We only saw what was said publicly. We don't know what was said <laughs> behind closed doors. Right, right. I wanted to do this before that. That was literally written down in my notes before that happened. Okay. <laughs> Too little, All too right. late talking. See, I can, I can remember Leroy's mom's voice. I don't think I can remember his dad's voice. So anyway, the Saki Taki call comes in, and he's like, Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. <laughs> oh, Sai, so good to hear from you. We're, how are things in the jungle? Hi, son. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Oh, it's good to hear your, your voices. It's great. We're, we're, t- we're walking a lot. We're doing a lot of things. They're going to have a a long conversation. We're not going to talk about (laughs) all this stuff. But the interesting part comes in where he's like, So, Mom and Dad, as you recall, before I was teleported out of our house into the capital city of of Glenwood and then went on this really long adventure, you had just revealed a really big secret to me about our family lineage. Yup. Son, are the the people around you right now, son? (laughs) Rainer, who is standing there holding the sock as it moves his hand, is just kind of like, um. <laughs> um. Oh, you know what? That's actually very silly. Of course he would have just given him the socky talkie I don't know why, for a second, I thought that Rainer had to be the Rainer one. Rainer must possess the sock at all yeah. times. No, for some reason, my I, I, I thought of it as like a magic item. It has to be Rainer. But then I realized, wait, no, no that makes no sense. Rainer so, yeah, is attuned that. to the socky talkie <laughs> Uh, so I guess, yeah, else. Leroy's yeah. Leroy's on his own. He says, no. Yeah, yeah. No, it's just me. Honey, do you think we should talk to him about it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, yes. <laughs> it's, uh, basically our whole family history has been trying to uh, master the art of bread making so we can, uh, connect with the magic spirit. 
so we can learn who the hero is and manipulate that. Yep. Okay, that's what that's what I thought it was. Um, <laughs> how mad would you be if I told you me and my friends are trying to kill Mirjik? <laughs> what? Yes, sir. What do you mean? That's a spirit. You can't kill spirits. That's what we thought. But apparently, you can do it. Because a different spirit did. So we're gonna go talk to them. Son, how many spirits have you been talking to? <laughs> well, let's see. There's the, um, the, the darkness one, the color one, oh, the demon one, the one that's in our bag. <laughs> My boy. Now, the... the, the what oh, was that again, son? It's a lot of details. Okay. Basically, we're trying to kill Mirjik. Does that go against my heritage, or is that, like, super in favor of it? Oh. Um. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot. Uh, how about this, son? You give us a call after you speak with them. Well, I've already spoken Mirjik many times. What? <laughs> well, there was the time when they teleported oh, no. me. There was the time at the oh, festival. No. There was the time, I think... Well, in the mine, I was not the mine, <laughs> the dungeon. That was a big one. That was a good time. Sad, tell us everything. Yeah, you hear like shuffling sounds, like like paper and pens, yeah. like. <laughs> and so Leroy recounts their whole journey and everything, as we yeah. do and, and three times every season. <laughs> yeah, yeah, every season. Yep, yep, yep. Sad, this is, this is after this is more contact than any baker has had in generations. Damn. Okay, cool. Do I win? <laughs> Son, we need you. When you find Mirjik again, you can't kill them. You need, you need to ha- fi- fine tune this connection, and so th- th- that ability to see the strings. You need to unlock it again. But mom, I don't have any bread. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't do. It. I need the bread. <laughs> We're gonna find a way to get you some more bread, hon. And then we'll figure it out. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to throw, uh, I don't want to put sticks in your spokes here, but uh, <laughs> he definitely has for the forever bread. No, we broke that. When? In the season two finale. I think that we did, did break. Yeah. Yep. I don't and I that's think... how we saw the chords in the finale. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. I, remember, I, I made a music cue for it breaking. Yeah. <laughs> I have an idea, mom. We have these things that we totally forgot called telepellets that can teleport stuff. Oh. <gasps> What if I teleport a telepellet to you, and then you telepellet the bread to me? Okay, I don't know what that means, but sure. Yeah. Okay, this is great. I'm gonna have to remember who has those. Nathan, do we definitely have those, or did I scam a Zajax for one, and we didn't buy the rest? Either way, I know a guy who has them, <laughs> and I got his number. <laughs> so, okay. long story short, we're gonna find a way to do this gonna get some bread for my heritage <laughs> also mom I, I got a dog oh cool <laughs> we, uh, we love you son uh just don't don't kill him that's kind of like the whole that's the opposite of what we're trying to do here oh my God. thank you son love you my boy love you too mom and dad <laughs> stay fresh stay fresh <laughs> because they're bakers oh uh, he hands the sock back to Rainer and goes I right, here you go <laughs> Wait, as as in he was close enough for Rainer to hear that? Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Classic Leroy. Yeah, don't mention it. Um. Yeah, don't mention it, Rainer. Do you want to talk about that or like... Yeah, do you have the telepellets? No, no, I got one and then I didn't, but I, I, I kind of... Like, played mind games with his Ajax to get one for free. Sure, sure. Sent the other Saki Talkie to my dad. We don't have to do this today because the day is it's running long. Yeah. But when you get a chance, can we call up his Ajax? I need more of those telepellets. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we could. I mean, we could do that right now. Yeah. We could. I, th- I think Jonathan over here is and he's like, why haven't we called his Ajax yet? Why haven't we done that? I'm not going to. There's no way to say this delicately. Last time I tried to call him, I accidentally got you instead. There's no... That sounds so mean. There's no way to say it that doesn't sound horribly mean. No, I mean, why, like, call him on the Saki Taki, like... Oh, oh no, because yeah. my dad... Because Goldon, the town of Goldon has the other one. 
but he's got other saki takis, right? I, it's a two-way no, thing. it's a one-to-one thing. One thing. Yeah, yeah, it's a yeah. one-to-one thing. All right, thing. never mind. I'm just oh, going to okay. keep walking over here. Don't mind We can me. summon him, though. I can. I can do that. In fact, I'll... I'll... Is that what you want to do with, with your day? Yeah. Oh Damn. boy! I didn't, okay. have, I didn't have anything else. I was. I've been thinking of like stuff I want Raider to do, and nothing is particularly coming up. So now that you've mentioned that, I desperately want to do it. All right, that's okay, dude. Hell roll yeah. music. Roll music. Uh, oh boy! And you're trying to summon his Ajax. I am trying to summon his Ajax. That's gonna be difficulty four because he's very far away. I am using the summoning song move, uh, the summoning song of Azajax slash Jonathan uh, <laughs> for music. Sorry, difficulty three. Four is four would be if he was like somewhere like insane. Sure thing. <laughs> I'll take that difficulty down. No problem. And we're going to find out where he's at. Uh, again, if y'all haven't listened to the bonus episodes, there's going to be a lot of confusing things <laughs> in this episode. <laughs> I do like. Don't worry, these are not behind the paywall. I do, I do enjoy rolling music for Rainer because he gets two green and two yellow, so it's always, it's usually pretty exciting. I'm hoping for disadvantages on this call. It's so funny. You guys, you guys are so much faster at counting these than I am. I hide it in the edit. (laughs) Yeah, during during the recording, he hides it in the edit. (laughs) I edit it out. Yeah. He like actively fucks with the Wi-Fi signal, so his like audio skips, (laughs) and we just hear the result. (laughs) it's <laughs> yeah, great I got uh, success definitely a success it was like three successes great but I got three disadvantages <laughs> yes and there it is <laughs> okay so much potential <sighs> so much potential here Nathan I'm gonna let you think about this for a second I just wanna say listeners one of the great joys of my life is um mm-hmm. with this Saki Taki call just now, watching Nathan roleplay as a character, asking a question, and then watching Nathan hear himself and realize that he has to come up with an answer to that question as a different character is so great. Because it is like it is like the meme of someone's mind moving with all the equations and stuff around their head. <laughs> and it's so much fun. Okay, and I don't ever for, have to do that. <laughs> yeah, you do when, well, you, when t- Rainer talks to trouble. That almost never happens. No. <laughs> we had it, I think last time you did this exact order, yep. you did summon Jonathan. Yep. But I think it'd be more funny. So one disadvantage is it's going to be, or let's do a big lump sum, because I do want his Ajax. I really do. Yeah. Okay. The, the, I think all one of them is going to be he's going to look like Jonathan though. Oh, it's not actually Jonathan. Okay. So it'll look like Jonathan. Right. Disadvantage number two. Oh, actually, fuck. It's going to sound like Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> so you get to be his Ajax. Oh my god. Yes, but it'll obviously still it is his Ajax. And then number three is it's going to be a shorter time window than you would like. Oh, okay. Okay. Jake, take it away. But wow. he sounds like Jonathan. All right. But has the intonations maybe of of as Ajax. Interesting. Bartuk, do you get do you get thirsty? Oh my god. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello, hello, fellow <laughs> travelers. It has been some time. I wasn't expecting visitors. One moment. Uh I, where 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 am I exactly? Rainer just I mean is Rainer that, stares at him. Is that my and- voice? Is that my voice? <laughs> and then looks over at Jonathan. <laughs> and looks back to apparently Jonathan. <laughs> he he does have that like spectral shimmer that the the summoning call has. Oh okay, uh huh. Yeah, Jonathan. I think uh, Jonathan also looks over and he kind of like puts his hand over his mouth and like looks around a little perturbed. I just I I just have I have so many questions. I I don't know. As where do I begin? I who's who's Bartuk? Yeah, you you were you were you talking to Bartuk? Is Ajax? Uh, yeah, it's great actually. Um, it, everything <laughs> everything kind of worked out okay over here, I guess. But but uh, but enough of that. Uh, I feel my time waning. <laughs> no, we no, only no, have, no, We only have no, a limited on. time to take care of this. Uh, is there something that you need from me? I, I feel I feel the tingles, the letting me letting me feel the tingles that I that oh. I know mean we don't have much time. Can I sell you something? Do you need to buy something? Do you have information? What can I? It's the caravan of wonders. What can I do yeah, for you? Um, I s- sorry for p- 
punching you in the face. Leroy, what are we what are we doing here? Uh don't worry about it. I think I deserve oh, it. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> I, I I actually wanted to buy something. The telepellets. I would like to buy two of them. Ah, yes, the tele one moment. Uh, the telepellets. Yes, yes, yes. Uh the yes, these, these, the wonderful <laughs> telepellets. Uh for those of you who've forgotten, these wonderful magical little pieces of uh magic uh let you uh, throw them at something and they'll teleport the way you want them to go. It's beautiful. It's be- uh, they'll start uh uh, I don't remember what they cost the last time. <laughs> uh, well, uh, do you accept silver paper? Of it's, it's uh, we'll do our worldwide business, of course. As they just caravan of wonders, we accept all forms of currency. Because I have zero of that. Oh, oh, Leroy, I have not missed this. No, okay, hold on. This is silly, Leroy. I can give you some of my silver paper. For real? I have wow. nine hundred silver. Paper? That's that's not much at all. That is not a lot. What about uh, t- twenty thousand? Twenty thousand silver paper. Now that's a good amount. That's a great amount. That's perfect. Uh, two, you say? Yes, two, please. Is that whole amount going to cover two pellets? <laughs> um, I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna okay. have Leroy roll to see if it covers that amount right. of it. Trouble, because it could trouble. Where did you get twenty thousand silver? Pay? And also, why did you why did you offer that? Why did you tell him you have that? I don't know. <laughs> I, I found it. That's true. He did just find it. Uh, I'm gonna give Leroy a boost because of excellent uh, trouble helping. Love that. <laughs> I love your entrepreneuring spirit, young blue man. <laughs> one success, one disadvantage. Oh, okay. So I'm thinking it is enough. Like that's gonna be enough money, but maybe. He needs some like a thing, like an object to go with it. Will that work metaphysically? <laughs> yeah, any transactions. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Also, I'd say like Azajax is now, or Jonathan Azajax is like half visible, like the yeah. bottom half of oh, him is no. faded. Yeah. Oh, hey, wow. Okay. Uh, let me just uh, blaze right through this. Okay. It is enough money. Uh, it's enough currency, silver paper. That's great. Uh, but there is a bit of a uh, a fee. What's the word? Uh, um, a currency exchange fee. So, uh, uh, sure. if you have a thing, an object, uh, a gl- a, a bauble, anything that you can add to uh, sweeten yeah. the pot, as they say. Hmm. I'm. I've got a lot of things that I totally forget I have. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get rid of them so I don't have that problem. I have this. It'd be nice if it was a good one. I have this pet slide whistle. That we haven't really needed oh. to use. Um, if you blow into it, your pet comes back, but sometimes a different animal. Okay, I could. I see how this might be useful for uh, obtaining uh, a menagerie of, of of animals to sell in the in the caravan of wonders. Yeah, maybe we've I already could, got a menagerie, so maybe I could get my horses <laughs> back if I whistle. <gasps> I, I'm oh, you lost the horses? sorry you've lost the ho- horses. Uh, well, it's it wasn't so much that we lost the horses, but we obtained a better mode of transportation. Ain't that ain't that right, uh, Bartuk? And Bartuk cannot be heard. And that's not how right. the summoning works. <laughs> Gosh, you're funny. Anyway, uh, fellow travelers, what uh, what have you decided? Uh, yeah, I think like uh, he's at like his like mid chest, like his arms yeah. are almost gone. Oh, no. oh wait, I, come on, snappy, yeah, snappy, yeah. We'll do it. decisions. Uh, we'll do it. All right, great. We'll go with it. And he holds his hand out. One one hand has the telepellets, the other hand is empty. Okay, so Leroy puts in uh, the pet slide whistle. Uh, right. They become ethereal and the telepellets become physical. Yeah, and Trouble gives him the, the silver paper. Yep. It's a stack. Yeah. All right, sweet, thanks. And then he just starts, as he like sl- starts to disappear, he st- starts talking faster. All right, fellow travelers, it's very nice to see you. I hope you do well on your travels and never remember. As Ajax the caravan of water shop off and, and then it just disappears. <laughs> <laughs> and Grog's like, we definitely all heard him say, Bartuk multiple times. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Is that how I sound to you guys? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what my voice sounds like outside of my own head? I mean, kind of. Um, it was the the intonation no. was different. That must have been a weird experience. Just that. Are, how how are you fe- are you feeling all right about that? <laughs> I'm gonna not talk for a while. If that's all right with everybody else, I'm just going to not talk for a while. Oh, no. All right, who's next? Jonathan. Uh, he's going to not talk for a while. Uh, he's, um... <laughs> uh, Jonathan's going to talk to Rainer. Cool. So, so Rainer. Yeah. We've known each other a long time, I would say. Yeah. In that time, uh, what, what would you say is your uh, assessment of me as a mm, businessman and a friend? Huh. As a businessman, um... Well, I don't, I don't know a lot about how business skills 
work. Um, uh, as, I know that... as I have discovered, not extremely important, apparently. <laughs> yeah, Renner, Renner thinks about that for a second, and he kind of gestures towards, like, Jonathan's coat and his whole look and everything, and he says... His flashway. <laughs> um, and he says, as a businessman, you are not afraid to take risks, obviously, um, to think on your feet and change things in in a pretty drastic way based on your gut, on your instinct. And I can only assume that doesn't work out every time, but a lot of the time it does. And you aren't afraid to try to make it work. Whatever you're after, whatever you're doing, you, you don't get caught up in worrying it might not work. You know? You go for it. You know, in a way... You kind of remind me of Katrina. Both of you have something that for a while I thought kind of bugged me, but I think if I'm being honest, I was just jealous that I didn't have it myself, which is you aren't afraid of how people will think of you. You aren't afraid of something that could go wrong or any of the many things that possibly will go wrong. Even if you do feel those things, you don't let them get in the way of what you want. You do some incredible things and you don't let yourself be stopped just by worrying what might happen. Again, in business, I assume that's what you want, because you never get anything done if you were too scared to try. As a friend? I mean, I can't think of a single time you haven't been there for me. I know I haven't talked to you a whole lot recently. I know I've been caught up in all this other craziness going on, and I never felt that way about you. You have always stuck up for me, and you've always been by my side when I need you. If anyone wanted to ask for more than that in a friend, they'd be crazy. Uh, Jonathan, is, it seems very uh, deep in thought. He says, well, Rainer, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that it seems that way on the outside. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm terrified oh. all, the, all, all the time. I don't know about Katrina. I don't know how she does her thing, but I'm scared all the time about stuff not working out. Like, it's that show that we did, terrifying. I had no idea what I was doing. I was very lucky. Um, I feel like that should be my new business model. Jonathan Bismarck, he's very lucky sometimes. Um, <laughs> Rainer, is a, Rainer is a little surprised and um, kind of kind of clearly joking. He says, I've also just learned that I'm very good at reading people. Super good at analyzing <laughs> people and figuring out what's going on. I'm just the best. I've Jonathan never been wrong. That's a good long laugh about that. And he says, yeah, I don't know, Raina. I just, um, I get worried sometimes that, you know, I, I'm, I'm a very showy person. It's very lonely at times, uh, being as different as I am becoming. Uh, and I worry yeah. that I'm going to be alone for, uh, at some point. But it is nice to know by <laughs> my own volition or otherwise um, that I, I still have I still have you as a good friend. I appreciate that very much. Of course. He kind of holds up his arm and like waves it around in front of him and he's like, no shadow buddies, right? <laughs> hey, <laughs> no shadow buddies. <laughs> Friendship point for Jonathan oh, and cool. Jamie. Cool, cool, cool. Jamie, not Rainer. Rainer. <laughs> Jonathan and Jamie. <laughs> Guys, both of you shut up. Jonathan is now my best friend. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> ah, dang it. What have I done? No. Jonathan and Rainer. All right, all right. Can we have Quiz go next? Because I want Gorg to go last. Uh, sure. Uh, Quiz is periodically just, like, pulling the littlest bit of the flap on Quis- Christopher up <laughs> to, like, check to see if Banus is still there. Because he's, like, a little scared that Banus is just going to disappear. I We haven't really decided, like, with Christopher, if when you look inside, do you see the contents? Because it's an We've talked how it's like an infinitely large void. So like, right? But we've also you, like looked inside and said that we see stuff just kind of right. cluttered around. Yeah, we see the things in there. So let's just go with again. That's why it was in Mystery Seeker's room. Right. There's not really like hard set rules on like maybe every time you look in, like the size, the, the perceived size of the room is different. Ooh, like so, go. sometimes like there you go. Banus's like face is like right there <laughs> like his like almost pig like nose is like poking out yeah and sometimes he's like at the bottom he's like hello, hello. i found i found the spear again hello <laughs> venus with a spear is a truly horrifying thought yeah 
What happens if I hurt myself? Am yeah. I a Banus? What happens? Yeah, what happens if Banus kills a Banus? Is that Banus side? <laughs> then he becomes Banus. Now I can be Banus, finally, <laughs> yay! I've never been Banus. Banus wow. has achieved the rank of Banus. Your game has crashed. <laughs> 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 I think most of the time, though, you open it, he is doing his famous Banus babble, and he's just talking about <laughs> writer knows what, yeah. you know, just like going off. Yeah, Quiz loves this, obviously, um, <laughs> but he he's also getting a little creeping sense of uh, worry because, like, a lot lately, he's been doing a lot of like air quotes, like chaotic stuff because yeah, he enjoys yeah. it and he doesn't like that anymore he doesn't he hmm. doesn't like that he likes the chaotic stuff it's like a, it's like a drug he's trying to cut himself from right oh, okay because th- like it the more and more it happened like when he talks about uh Mirjik, he like finds himself talking in a positive manner or in a like a longing manner and yeah, he's gotcha. like having trouble rectifying the two halves of himself that are now one thing mm. the part that craves it and the part that wants no part of it wow. yeah the part that's like Remembers how bad it was. Right. Mm. So it's That's more tough. like, yeah. I'd always been viewing like his time with Mirjik as like a unhealthy relationship um, with like PTSD and stuff. But maybe wow. he's, it's more like an addiction that he had to chaos. Right. And, and, and it, power. Because Yikes. Conquest Conquest was like a physical embodiment of that. Mm-hmm. So it was like a part of his being, you know, like he he is Quiss and Conquest and yet neither of them. And he still yeah. doesn't really know what that means. Interesting. Um, so he just spends the day, like, thinking about that while, like, monitoring Banus? Yeah, I, I think he is, he is viewing uh, viewing his, like, struggle through the lens of, like, staring into Quist- Christopher and, like, seeing, like, the cha- the constantly changing scene inside. Wow. That's, that's deep. Wow. <laughs> Who would have thought Banus in a bag would have been a, a, a metaphor for our own trapped personas? Certainly not Banus. Truly Banus doesn't think much, though. No. Well, to wrap up the day's travel, um, everyone sets up camp. Um, You had been doing a little bit more uphill climbing today, uh, and so you kind of are setting up camp near the top of uh, the little, not mountain, but like the hill that you've been climbing up, you know, because Grilta, she knows the way. As camp is being set up, uh, Grorg asks Eloise if she'll, like, go get, like, firewood with him. (laughs) Hmm. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. I'm in real life nervous for this conversation. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so Grog is actively sweating, um, <sighs> but this is not normal because they're in the jungle. But maybe it's a little more abnormal for him because like, he, this is like his normal climate. Yeah. So Grog leads Eloise into the jungle as they're looking for sticks. Again, it's dark as the, the sun is setting uh, to the west. So there's still a little bit of light, but it's getting darker. And as they're going through, you know, you hear the, the ambient sounds of the jungle, the frogs, the birds. But you also now see something different in the jungle. Uh, like fireflies, you see some bioluminescent creatures flying around. But they're not fireflies. They're butterflies that have bioluminescent wings. Oh, cool. Uh, kind of flying around. Some of them more like a bioluminescent blue. Some of them your standard bioluminescent yellow just kind of fluttering around uh, filling the space um, oh, and it's here that Gorg kind of takes a, a moment to kind of pause and he kind of sets down the bundle of sticks that he's been collecting kind of he like looks around and he's like okay I think this is a good spot um, yeah Eloise, there's like a, Eloise is like encapsulated by this site yeah <laughs> and there's like a there's like a whole bunch of them right? they, they clearly, is that the right word uh, sure Maybe, maybe entranced? entranced? That's, a, that's a better word. Yeah. <laughs> better. Um, <laughs> so there's a, a fallen uh, lock that Gorg kind of sits on uh, just to kind of watch the, the butterflies. And he kind of like taps the log next to him to for Eloise to sit down too. Okay, she does. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, just got to go. Just going for it. So, uh, Eloise, you've been having a good trip so far? I mean, I'd say the first half uh, in Tareve was kind of crappy, but, yeah. um, you know, never a dull day. No, that's true. <laughs> Not a dull day. It's been a really cool adventure, I would say. And I'm, and for me, it feels like my adventure is winding down because uh, 
we're going to be going to my, my hometown. Oh, soon. yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'll, I'm going to keep going with you guys after that to you know, finish this whole thing. But. Sure. I mean, this is my first adventure, so, I mean, par for the course, you know, 10 out of 10 yeah. as adventures go. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty... It's been, a, I think, and I think what's made the adventure really good has been the the people that we've gone on the adventure with. <sighs> I've really enjoyed making uh, a lot of a lot of friends on this. No, a uh, lot of. Um, <laughs> I mean, I I expect so with your name. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's me, which I got from you, because um, we've we've really gotten to spend a lot of time ever since. You know, we like help Salazar out with uh, his his relationship stuff. You know, you you know a lot of you know a lot about <laughs> you know you what? know a lot about that. That That's was funny. fun. Like at that I, that felt good to do. By the way, like <laughs> yeah, it did. It's been a while since that's come up, but that felt good. And and uh, you know, we've just we've been a good team. You know, helping Salazar uh, fighting the the Trujas yesterday. Which again, congratulations. Um, super cool. I mean, that's I haven't even done that. You're, I mean, you're awesome. You're just really <laughs> she awesome. laughs. We, I, so what, what I'm trying to <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is I've been making, <laughs> we, this is so we're, we're making a great team. We make a great team. Would you agree? Sure. Yeah. Good. That's good. Crook, <laughs> where is this going? <laughs> that's a great question. Um, I'm not even in this scene. I am as anxious as I was in real life telling someone I like them. <laughs> I'm just channeling that emotion yeah, right yeah. now. Careful, Jamie. He's stealing your soul. He's he's taking it from <laughs> through the screen. Okay, where am I going with this? Um, I think he does like a quick little like. It's not a pentagram, but like the five symbols of. He hasn't done this in a long time either. And then he also like does something. I forgot that was a thing. Yeah. Yeah, then he also, like, grasps his, like, su- simple sim symbol symbols. He's like, I don't know who's going to help me now, but I just <laughs> hope all of them. Eloise, I have really liked... He's, like, closing his eyes, too, to, like, get through this. He's like, Eloise, I've really liked spending time with you and connecting with you. And all this pressure of, of me going home has made me really think about my family and my future and, like, who I am and stuff. And, like, who, you know, with the adventure, like wrapping up I'm trying to think like who do I want to like be in my life for more than just this little journey and I want you to be a part of that future does he still have his eyes closed he like opens one of them oh, okay and like starts to smile a little bit um, like a little like a little cheesy grin when he opens his eyes Eloise is kind of smiling a little sadly at him no and she says Grorg I came halfway across the globe to even come close to where you're from. (laughs) I can't say I haven't noticed, because I have, but the only thing I keep thinking is at some point, we both have to go home. Right. And she, she like, she puts her hand on Grog's hand, and she says, Grog, I, I have learned so much from you. You have been and continue to be an amazing friend. I have imagined what that looks like. It's so much more. You, you have? I have. You thought about that? I, I mean, how could I not? I just don't want to give it up, and I feel like that's going to happen. So I feel like I've had to just ignore everything you know I've been focusing on my sister and it just keeps bringing me back I have to go back to Glenwood eventually and I can't ask you to come with me um, yeah that that would that'd be a lot so so then what she's still kind of she's still kind of giving him that sad smile oh man bruh (sighs) I think he's just kind of like like he's still got like a little Nah, he's not. He's not even faking a smile right now. Like I think it kind of is like, just kind of like mellowed face. He's like, yeah, I guess. I guess we both do have different families and, and homes, and uh, I guess that would have been a lot to, yeah. I I I guess I didn't fully think 
that through then. No, Krog. And she like puts she puts her hands on both sides of it. Well, she reaches up her hands because he's <laughs> fucking huge. He's very tall. Yeah. Uh, I assume he comes down to her level. I assume they were sitting on the log still. Right, but he's still probably much bigger than she is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So she, like, grabs his face on both sides with her hands and goes, I am not telling you that I don't like you. I don't know what from that, what I just said, meant that. <laughs> uh, and she, like, puts her forehead on his forehead and she says, I just don't want, I don't want to break your heart. <laughs> by getting our hopes up and then having to leave. Hmm. No, I mean, you're wow. smart. That's... That's very... That's... You're the, you're the smart one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think... I think Rorg, at this moment, like, he's hearing the words she's saying, but he's definitely receiving the heartbreak nonetheless. Oh. Like, he's still hearing that from that. Oh. Um, that's too... Yeah. And I think um, he says, uh, they're, um... They're called Flutterfires... And he kind of like points at the, the glowing things, uh, flutter fires. Uh, she doesn't. She doesn't look away. I missed him a lot when we were gone. So there's a legend that all the stars are actually just flutter fires, but obviously that's not true. Uh, well, we should prob we should probably get the sticks back. It's getting dark. They need the need to make the fire. Okay. I um. I know, I know we don't speak the same language, uh, as our, our home language, but I, f- I feel like something got miscommunicated here. <laughs> um, and she, she like kind of squeezes his hand, still smiling at him, like walks back to the camp. And Gork smiles a little bit at that, but then the smile fades as he watches her head back to the makeshift camp. And he picks up his bundle of sticks in his arms and takes a deep breath and kind of looks around him at the flutter fires as they fly up into the sky and blend with the few stars that he can see through the canopy and he sighs and walks back to camp Night's Quest will return on February 11th. Head to patreon.com slash kqpodcast for more bonus content and to give us your support. And may your place in his story be long.